Discouraged by all that he had seen, Soufan would leave the FBI in 2005. In 2009, he decided to speak out. From my experience, I strongly believe that it is a mistake to use what has become known as enhanced interrogation techniques. He appeared, his identity hidden behind a screen, before a Senate committee investigating how and why the Bush White House approved the use of enhanced interrogation techniques. These techniques, from an operational perspective, are slow, ineffective, unreliable, and harmful to our efforts to defeat al-Qaeda. At one point, he alluded to the case of Ibn al-Sheikh al-Libi. We don't know whether the detainee is being truthful or just speaking to mitigate his discomfort. Alibi was an al-Qaeda military instructor. When he was captured in Pakistan in 2001, he cooperated at first with FBI interrogators. But with White House permission, the CIA flew him to Egypt for tougher questioning. The testimony extracted from Alibi would quickly rise to the highest levels of the Bush administration. I wasn't involved in this interrogation. But you're heavily critical of it. Absolutely. Ibn Sheikh Alibi, after real macho interrogation. This is uh, enhanced interrogation techniques on steroids. Um, he admitted that al-Qaeda and Saddam were working together. He admitted that al-Qaeda and Saddam were working together on WMDs. That information was given as evidence to Secretary Powell. And Colin Powell went to the UN. Everybody remembers that speech. I can trace the story of a senior terrorist operative telling how Iraq provided training in these weapons to al-Qaeda. After we went to Iraq, after we found out that there's no WMDs, after we found out that al-Qaeda and Saddam were not working together, they went back to Ibn Sheikh al-Libi. And this is all according to the Armed Services Committee. And they asked him, why did you lie? He said, well, I gave you what you want to hear. He complied. Absolutely. I want the torture to stop. I gave you anything you want to hear. But the consequences of that... Tragic. Absolutely. The, the world is different. Look at all the blood that we lost in Iraq. Look about how the Iraq war helped al-Qaeda, both with recruits and financially. It's tragic, tragic.